What you're looking at here, folks, is one of the brand new 2023 Lego Indiana Jones sets. This is set 77012, Fighter Plane Chase, ages 8 plus. This is one of the brand new sets from based off the Last Crusade. It comes with Indiana Jones, Professor Henry Jones Sr., and a fighter pilot. These videos, I've been talking about them for ages they were coming. This is one of the first, this is the, currently, right now, this is the first set I'm reviewing, because it's the first one I have, but there will be more to come. In particular, I can't wait to get the Raiders of the Lost Ark Golden Idol Temple. So without further delay, let's get into the review. First worth noty thing, noty thing is Lego, these instruction booklets, they do not look good. I think you know what I mean, you know, we're used to like seeing like the box art, say, so this right here on the instruction manual, but you know, it's just a nitpick. You know, you go in, you have your build bags, it's three separate bags, you know, and yeah, that's the instruction booklet. So let's get on with the set. First thing I want to do is most people do the minifigs first. I want to talk about the actual build. Lego is against doing war theme sets so the fact lego indiana jones exists in 2023 with a world war ii german uh airplane uh yeah that's kind of cool so this is based off the last crusade uh this is when india and his father they crash land in where is it it's not berlin they go to berlin so they crash land in oh, i can't remember where uh, i'll throw it up on the screen where they crash landed but um this is the one of the planes, just like the movie, when the car goes into the tunnel. The German plane slowly follows them. And if we put the thing down here, you can actually pop the wings off. So just like the movie, you have a bit of fire and it goes right past the car, which I'll throw the scene up on the screen right now. There you go. Uh, yeah, I think this is a super neat build. I never had the original version of this that came out in 2008 9 i want to say i know loads of the original indiana jones fans will correct me on that one and i'm sure i'll put the answer up in the editing stage after this not much else to say about the plane it's super sturdy like there's you know i'm shaking it around here like it, it can take a fall or two maybe these might pop off occasionally but other than that it is a super sturdy build we take off the cockpit cockpit piece uh, this is a sticker which i wasn't a huge fan of uh, i would have preferred if it was like the millennium falcon where the cockpit piece was printed but then again that would have increased the value of the set inside though you have your cockpit area you have some controls you have your stick or your flyer plane so yeah that was the german plane so let's move on to the car so here we have the car from the last crusade from screen grabs and the actual scene of the film indy and his father have just crash landed and there's a old mechanic working on his car he's about to put on the hubcap and then the car speeds off and in the car is indiana jones and his father professor henry jones senior this is a super neat little build it it really looks like it popped out of the movie just in lego brick form uh, i know the first set that came out 2008 2009 i don't know uh, it had the red and white plane from the blimp which was replaced by this car of course in here we have a chest piece and correct me if i'm wrong but i think this part here is new to this set i could be wrong though inside you can put all your little pieces uh my set came with a spare notebook the holy grail the diary the diary contains more than just the map. That's my terrible Sean Connery impression. Uh, yeah, I love this little car. I love Lego cars in general, like the James Bond, Aston Martin, the Ghostbusters, Ecto-1, uh, the Back to the Future DeLorean. I love all those. Yeah, the detail is amazing. Uh, once again, stickers on the side, no printing. Yeah, it's just a funky little car build. So now, to the best part, the minifigures. But before we get to the minifigures, I just want to point out, it came with this little Berlin sign. Uh, I don't under, I don't, I can't remember well from the movie. This did not appear in the car chasing. I know it appeared in the 
right after the motorcycle chase when him and his father need to go to Berlin to get the book back. So this would have been perfect within the micro uh, motorcycle chase. Uh, I hope Lego remade the motorcycle chase because, you know, you could have thrown that in there, but I don't mind it. It's a cool little neat little build. Just want to point out these are stickers as well. Uh, we uh, don't talk about stickers. I'm not too fond of putting on Lego stickers because if you mess up, it kind of goes to crap. So <laughs> anyway, the main part, the figures. The first figure we have is Indy Anna Jones himself. This figure is a fantastic upgrade from the old one. I'm not saying the old one is bad or anything. I love the old one. I have it. It's stored away with all my older Indiana Jones minifigures. I only have four. But this figure is an amazing upgrade, especially with the new hair hat combo piece, which is amazing. I see some people are getting two of them, two of the hair hat combo pieces in the sets. My one only came up one. Maybe it's one of these things where like, oh, the American crowd gets the extra piece. Yeah, okay. But anyway, this figure is definitely based off of The Last Crusade. You can tell because he's wearing his black necktie. Uh, the printing on his pants it has his gun holster, his belt. He comes with his whip, which is rubber, a rubbery plastic. And it bends out like that, just like the movie. He has his gun, his revolver, which I'm surprised Lego included. Because, you know, Lego doesn't like making war or gun sets. If we turn his face over, he has a bit of a grumpy face, bit of a confused grumpy face. He has new back printing, which I love. It's very accurate to the real jacket. If I had one gripe about the figure, I would have included the satchel piece. Now, I've got loads of these lying around. So, if we just pop off his hair, we flip up his arm. Because he did wear his satchel throughout the Last Crusade movie. Yeah, that's so much better. In my opinion, anyway, that is so much better. Indiana Jones with the satchel on him. That is an amazing figure. You can also use this body for his appearance in the new Dial of Destiny movie, which comes out June 30th. I will be there premiere night. You could use it because in the trailer, he's seen wearing a black necktie on his torso. I'll throw up a picture here. So yeah, you could make a custom figure, but yeah, that was Indiana Jones. Moving on. Here we have James Bond, a.k.a. Henry Jones Sr., a.k.a. Sean Connery. This is a case where I prefer the look of the older version of the, the minifigure. But I'm not saying this one is bad. This one is a great upgrade. He has back printing, just a little bit. He has his front printing. Uh, these hats. I have an issue with these hats. I don't like them. Because when they are barely touched, like if he fell on the floor, say... The hat would just pop off. That's one gripe I have with this figure. It's just the hat. Other than that, the figure is fantastic. With a great resemblance to the late great Sean Connery. He has his umbrella, which uses to scare away the birds and make a plane crash. And here he has his briefcase. And if we pop this open... I don't think he ever put it in here in the movie, but I just keep the other book piece in here. His Grail Diary. So there's that. Let me just pop it right back into his hands right there. Okay. See what I mean? Like, look, you try to put it on and the hat just pops off. And actually, there's a little compartment right here in the car where you can put said briefcase. If we just pop it in there, you can pop it in right there. You can also fit the two minifigs in the car, which I'm going to do right now. Just something noteworthy. They could have totally included Indy Satchel because it all fits in the chest. Lego, please, 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 come on. Incl you should have included the Satchel. Just come on. And here we have Indy and his father in the car. This is such a cool sight. Look at that. That is so cool. Seeing them in the car together. Uh, of course, uh, I took. you have to take the Satchel off Indy because he, w he will not sit backward a little he won't lean back like that he will just stay forward and this is a rare case where the minifigures actually hold on to the steering wheel lego that is a great detail thank you for that and here's the german soldier pilot fighter here he is he's a bit of a bland character but something to point out about his outfit is this is based off a real world war ii uh 
pilot fighter outfit and that is crazy to me i looked up the picture of it online and i'll put it here in the video but it is actually dead on accurate so that is cool and of course he has his goggles which he wears in the plane and we're gonna pop him in the plane in a minute but bit of a bland character at uh, lego if you're listening i know you are please 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 make the raiders of the lost ark truck chase the tank lego please give us the tank i will so army build with these dudes please give us the tank and just to show the german pilot fits in there perfectly so you can actually tilt his head to the side so like when the wings break off and he goes through the tunnel he can actually tilt his head and look at indiana's father we just pop his little cockpit back on there we go that's the german soldier in his plane right there but yeah that was one of the new lego indiana jones sets uh set 77012 fighter plane chase it retails for 35 euro in ireland i don't know about america but it should be the same 34 dollars um that was the video of course uh there will be reviews on the other two sets lego please make the tank please it's i know you're against the rules of doing that but if you could give us the plane just think of the tank please it's the one thing i would love forget your temple of dooms forget king of the crystal skull forget the new movie just please give us the tank uh that was it hope you enjoyed and i'll catch you all in the next video